Hi, I'm Lloyd Weitzel, and I teach musicology at McGill University. Musicologists can do a variety of things. Some deal with hard facts, so they're interested in going to archives and finding, you know, the the rare manuscript, trying to look at watermarks and scribal errors and things like that. Some deal in hard facts in terms of studying history, studying historical events and uh, audiences, records of you know what was played at a particular time. Uh, some people deal in score, so they're really interested in looking at the notes, looking at how things work, uh, so what we think of as analysis. And then some people are interested in what you might call soft data or ideas, more speculative things, or uh, how music fits into social uh, ideas of social status, how music fits into culture. Anyway, what I do, what I like to do is, uh, I've worked on Joni Mitchell, so I'm really interested in, in pop music analysis, and but also other genres. I, I really am interested in how music works, how music and literature can interact, so different arts and uh, the kind of mechanics that are going on in a story, how does that translate into a, a musical performance. Okay, so I'm working on Glamour in the film musical, and I'm, so I'm very interested in Glamour in all kinds of musical genres, but I'm looking at the film musical from the 1930s to the 1950s in particular, just to give me a place to start. And so I want to talk about the tricky question of style, and I've chosen Glamour because it seems to be a place where uh, you have a mass cultural form of aestheticism, in other words, beauty and sumptuous style come to the forefront and you just allow yourself to indulge in pleasure of what you know the just visual astonishing effects sonic astonishing effects so so that's what I'm looking at and in order to pursue that of course I have to watch a lot of films uh, too bad for me right <laughs> but also to think a lot about it and to try to reflect on my own experience then I have been looking for scores, and that's kind of a hard thing because a lot of those Hollywood scores were tossed in the dumpster, believe it or not. And so, uh, but I did take a research trip to Los Angeles and uh, had located like four or five archives where I found uh, little pockets of scores. I was looking for, for particularly for like a reduced conductor score that had a lot of information. There are some, all the parts, but those are harder to photocopy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I found some, some scores that were useful to me and, and I've been studying, looking for the specific musical details, little, you know, harp gestures or bells or, uh, you know, sumptuous choirs of saxophones or strings and trying to figure out what the, what is the code for musical glamour. To me, what's exciting is when you come upon a question that no one has asked or, you know, just your blind spots, your cultural blind spots. And then all of a sudden you realize, why have we been putting things this way? We're totally ignoring such and such, you know? So that kind of moment of, of opening a whole new door is what I'm sure there will be more that we can't even foresee. And that's what's very, very exciting. And what should not be uh, prevented by being closed-minded or by being, you know, by sticking to the old ways. Like you should really try and, you know, open your mind as much as possible. Gill is very fortunate at the amount of performance and research that's going on here. And just within the Department of Research, we have six different areas, which includes music technology and sound recording, composition, education, theory, and history. So right there, there's, there's a lot going on. And then we do have the, the um, Interdisciplinary Institute, known as Kermit, that right there is a place for collaboration, a place that's meant to bring people together. So. Uh, we have students who come in and they, they discover, oh, I want to sort of go more empirical routes. So I want to do empirical research. I want to hand out questionnaires and ask people what the music scene and, uh, you know, Quebec night spots is, you know, that kind of thing. Or I want to, to try and study music cognition. I want to actually do scientific research, uh, you know, in live performance, somehow get people to, to uh, map and, and graph their responses or I want to work more with performers. So, so we have this going on, this kind of cross-discipline the cross uh, collaboration going on. And it, it's, a, it's great that there's so many people that see the value of that here.